You want to talk about vindication for legal weed in Colorado. There's an article in the Associated Press today, quote, Colorado's pot revenue is so high, the state may give residents money back. They say, quote, Colorado's marijuana experiment was designed to raise revenue for its schools and the state, but the state constitution limits how much tax money the state can take in before it has to give some back. That means Coloradans may each get their own cut of the $50 million in recreational pot taxes collected in the first year of legal weed. So not only is this a success, it's a success that's so large that they don't even know what to do with the surplus. They say, quote, a 1992 voter-approved constitutional amendment called the Taxpayers' Bill of Rights re requires all new taxes to go before voters. The amendment also requires Colorado to pay back taxpayers when the state collects more than what's permitted by a formula based on inflation and population growth. Over the years, Colorado has issued refunds six times, totaling more than $3.3 billion. So they say the final numbers aren't ready yet, but the governor's budget uh, predicts the pot refunds could amount to $30.5 million, or about $7.63 per adult in Colorado. So again, the arguments that libertarians and progressives were making from day one turn out to not only be true, but more true than even we realized. That if you believe in uh, fiscal responsibility, if you are a deficit hawk, then you should absolutely be in favor of legalizing marijuana. It helps the economy in multiple ways. You have massive private sector job growth, you add to GDP, as we're going through here, you uh, end up cutting the deficit, you raise a tremendous amount of revenue. So there's an argument to legalize marijuana simply from a fiscal and financial perspective. And I haven't even brought up the social benefits of legalizing marijuana, which of course is a giant step in the right direction of personal freedom and liberty. So we have enough information here to start uh, bridging the gaps and making it uh, making arguments to get more people under this big tent because it's not just you know liberal democrats and old school hippies that are now in favor of legalizing we also have uh, libertarians are on our side but now it's time to even start bringing in whatever moderate republicans there are out there because you're, if you're a moderate Republican, okay, so you believe in small government as a matter of principle and you believe in, you know, fiscal responsibility and economic restraint and all that stuff. Okay, well, by all means, just look at the numbers, man. <laughs> look at the numbers for the experiment of legalizing weed and what do you find? You find that it, from a numbers perspective, it's been fantastic and also the fucking sky has not fallen. We don't see a situation where... Uh, all of a sudden, 14-year-old kids are blowing each other behind dumpsters, and they all uh, left school to pursue a career in making Cheech and Chong movies. I don't know. It, it, everything is going fine. You don't have widespread anarchy and everybody dropping out and saying, Fuck it, man. I just want to watch SpongeBob all day, bro. Where's the cookie dough ice cream? That's not happening. What's happening is normal people are now not being uh, oppressed for uh, putting in their body whatever they want to put in their body, and they're not hurting anybody else. In fact, we covered the crime numbers, too, uh, on a segment we did on the show a while ago, probably like a month or two months ago, where the crime numbers have gone down also. So across the board, it's win, 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 win. So there are no empirical arguments now against legalization. The only arguments that are left are just emotional arguments and arguments from principle. Arguments from, like, you just think you're true because it you think it's true. So, it, I'm right because I'm right. I don't need to provide an argument. I believe it like it's a principle, like it's an axiom. Me no lack weed, so me no lack weed. And, of course, that's a ridiculous and stupid argument, but those are the only arguments left. Emotionalism and stubbornness. That's all there is. Go ahead, pick from one of those two, or... Come to the proper side and we'll be more than happy to welcome you.